Are you aware of the, uh, the history of, uh, the biohazard symbol? I have- I, no, I'm not actually. It's did, actually pretty interesting Didn't they do it designed it. by committee so they all tried to agree on something that would be- No, they wanted- they wanted something that was going to be immediately recognizable because the problem was everybody had their own different thing, like... The, the Navy, the way they, they said that stuff was biological waste, or like biohazardous materials, was by just putting a purple square on it. That's not very noticeable. No, it isn't. It's really stupid. Not even red or orange or some color that contrasts with um, the, the, the army, the way they did it, was by putting a staff with two snakes wrapped around it, but then people couldn't tell the difference between what was medical supplies <laughs> and what was biological waste. Wow. Literally anything would have been better. Wow. Yeah, so that that was like in the, the 40s or 50s or We're something. We're getting close to Hammond. If this is bad guy central, where's all the ghouls? Ghoul or no ghoul, I'm not letting my guard down. Uh, it's a fox. Yep, I got it. I got, uh, I think the whole team. I got all five crew members. There might be more out there, but I know I've got the five. So I got the boar, the duck, and there's a second human I also added to the party. I can swap them out at any time. Yep, so there we go. We got the Borman, ducks, I think, uh, yep, Pharaoh's the fox, Selma and Magnus. And, uh, Magnus is good because he can control organic enemies for a turn. But at the same time, Pharaoh has the ability to disable machines, so they, they all have their purpose. They all fit within the team. It's a shame I can only use three at a time because I'd love to be able to control the entire team at once. But that's not the case. Hey, look at this cooling box. Uh, it's a refrigerator? I heard you could survive a nuclear blast in one of these things. Oh, for God's sake. Mm -hmm. You can hide in it, though. I could hide, hide behind I, I, it. I could hide behind it, like, for cover, yeah. So, now we're in a new area. By the way, last time I had a lot of difficulty. Not gonna have any more difficulty from this point on. Mm, I've actually, why is that? I've actually thought about bumping the difficulty back up a level, because it's, now I know exactly what I'm doing. If I can find any enemy that's Listen isolated. Why did all the Novacent leave here? Where did they go? What is more important than here? Who cares? Leave questions to the big brains. We are safe. We should party a little. But we're not safe. I hear rumors of stalkers from the Ark. That's me. They come for us. They cannot be stopped. Shut up. No stalkers are coming. We are safe. Okay. Now is the perfect time to show you. These two guys, they've split up. That guy's got 24 points of health. That's a lot of health, right? Won't be able to take him down. Yeah, there's no way you can kill him. No, absolutely not. I'm going to spring an ambush right now. Swap over to Borman immediately, and use Hog Rush to tackle him to the ground. Bullseye. Now he's incapacitated for two turns. Jeez! And now I'm gonna walk up to him with my silenced weapons and just unload at him like a mob hit. You missed! <laughs> he was hiding behind the hood of that car. <laughs> yeah, okay. Technically, I guess. What was that about upping the difficulty? The Say my name, Jizwipe. It's Pharaoh. Too easy! And we're just gonna keep on unloading into him. He's dead. Not so tough now, huh? All right then. So, no more problems. Hey, we're level 35 now. Up ahead. That building is the Spear of Heaven. The Spear of Heaven. Yes. That sounds can, interesting. We can check that out. There's the guy right there. There's also a really big thing on the right. Ooh, some kind of metal machinery. I'll check that out in a second. First, we'll just take this sect butcher down. Again, same strategy because in the easiest difficulty, normal, which is what we're playing on right now, there's no, there's no drawback to doing this. You can just keep doing it over and over again. Come on. If we were playing on a harder difficulty, we actually have to get two or three kills before we can use our abilities again. Uh huh. So I couldn't just hog rush every single person that I saw. Ah. Oh, what the heck? Ducks is over here? Yeah, he's way over there, man. Ducks, you idiot! You screwed up. <laughs> well, this is an even weaker enemy. I'm not too terribly worried about it. D Ducks, do everything you can from back there. Can you hit him? Can you see him? No, he's behind a tree. Ah, whatever. And Pharaoh 2? Pharaoh 2! <laughs> is, that, is that the sound a fox makes? That's the noise a duck makes. Oh, okay. So now the enemy's turn again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might have actually screwed this up. We'll see. Pharaoh will be able to get in the line of sight of this guy. And... Maybe! Yeah, okay. I've saved this. It's fine. Everything's good. Sleep it off. Uh, no, he won't sleep it off. He's dead. Everybody regroup. Regroup. Stop trickling Stop trailing like a mile or two behind. I don't need that in my Check life. Check out that big thing. Big oh, yeah. robot. First, I see some shiny things. Broken gun. I love to get weapons parts. Shinies. Can you pilot the big robot? 
Now, I don't think this is a mecha I can put myself into, no. Oh, you can't put yourself into the mecha? <laughs> I can just use it as cover, but it's kind of crazy. Look at that thing. It must have been fighting some kind of war with it before everything got destroyed. Meat poop. I am a robot. Now, if only that were sentient. Sixth member of the team. I don't know if I'd be... <laughs> Who would I have to swap out then? I guess I'd always have to... Oh, have Ducks and Bormen in the team. Can't swap them out ever. Why? Because they're the main protagonists. It's like uh, a partnership. You... Okay. We're just gonna spring a trap here and knock this guy over again. The same thing, same strategy. Never gonna, never gonna swap it up or change it up at all. Just gonna keep on doing this over. <laughs> nice work. How did you miss that? It's cause I'm watching you play this game. Ducks. And you can't win if I'm watching. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can still salvage this. Seven points of health left. Pharaoh, can you hit him? You can, and you will be able to kill him. But let's actually get you close enough so you never miss. Do not miss. Put the gun right against his head. I am the beautiful weapon. Thank you. I am a beautiful animal, screamed Harry. I am a destroyer of worlds. <laughs> and now we can take out this one, too. The sect hunter with 24 points. Oh, you might need four Regroup! Oh, get yeah. over here! Stop slacking. Whoop, whoop. Scatting head. All right, now we're going to rush him down again. And again, same strategy. Maybe I'll be able to rush this guy down this time. I don't know why it failed last time. Because uh, you clicked past him. Oh. You didn't click on him. My mistake. I guess it's my fault. Bum, 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 bum. Well, I still salvaged it. It's fine. Oh, no. The unconscious guy caught me sneaking. Oh, does that hurt? You saw nothing. Hurts. And critical hits make it go faster, too. I'm the hero. You're the zero. <laughs> Gonna need a lot more one-liners. You, you got plenty of them, but there are a lot of enemies we're gonna be taking out like this. Can't for the life of me figure out what these rocks are for. What rocks? Mm. Oh, they're tombstones. They don't <laughs> know what tombstones are. <laughs> I see. Yeah, the writing in this game is very good. Oh, uh, oh, you might want to have group oh, up on you. oh, oh! It's a mimer. Follow me. It's a mimi. Even worse, it's active. Got four points of armor. Hmm. Yeah, I, uh, I wouldn't mess with that. Yeah, ain't gonna touch it. Although, hmm. No. Hmm. No. Ducks and no. Pharaoh. No. Both have no. disabling abilities. No. No. Here lies Geraldo Thormanson. Quite a mouthful, isn't it? Yeah, that's quite a lot. I could try taking it out, but I think it's probably in everyone's best interest if I just keep on... Moving along. Hey, there's a guy I can take out easily. One that's not a heavily armed mecha. You got? No, this one's from Fat Tony. Hi there. He says hello. Wait, you ain't dead yet? Okay, well, Fat Tony's gonna say hello, hello again. Right now. Why are you still alive? Okay, fine. This is the third and final time that Fat Tony will say hello I'm the hero. from his associates. You're the zero. <laughs> all right, that was interesting. <laughs> that was uh, that was kind of interesting there, but uh, all right then. And this one's not from any gangster in particular, but you haven't been paying your car payments on time, and yeah, I did that. What do you think about that, huh? Here's some recompense. This is from the greatest gangsters of all, the United States government, the insurance agency. <laughs> Say my name, Chiswipe. It's Farrow. Got quite a mouth on her. Nailed. Yeah, we have just... we discussed before my utter hatred of insurance? Come on. I don't think we have, but I think it goes without saying. You hate most things, so of course you would hate I that. I hate most things. Insurance is just the biggest racket of all time. Well, in theory, I assume it's got a purpose. I can understand house insurance because at the very least, if something happens and you have house insurance, they're going to give you some money. But car insurance is pointless. Yeah, because they're not going to give you any money. They don't it... give you anything. Not if you've got, was it no-fault insurance or... PLPD? Yeah, whatever it is. The insurance everybody has. Ugh. I'm just gonna keep on walking around and looting things while you rant about things you hate, which is- Why do I have to- why do I have to have insurance if they're not gonna- if they're gonna do nothing for me? See these holes in the ground? What's up with that? Do dead people need a little fresh air? What is- um, what is that? I don't know. That is weird. I think it's not an air conditioning unit in the middle of nowhere, but I, I assume it looks it's- looks like a kind of vent for a bunker or something. Oh, that could be the case. 
I did find a vault area around here. It reminded me of the Fallout vault. We might be able to check that out later too. There might be there might be one somewhere around here. I know there is one in this game I visited recently and I immediately left because everyone was too strong, but now that I know what I'm doing, might be able to return and check it out. There was somebody being tortured, so a couple hours later I might be able to return and save them if they haven't been killed yet. If the prisoner is from the Ark, we should kill him, not bring him here. The prisoner has big brains, even bigger than the Nova Sect. They need his brain to figure out the weapon, make it go boom. So there's another event. Where is this big brain? They took him Ooh. below. See the descent they below. Make him hurt. Huh, maybe so there... there's a bunker down there. I guess there is. It must be a second bunker, because I was at a different bunker earlier. Well, if we can get into this house, which... Yeah, that's where we need to go. We need to go in the house, which means we're probably going to have to start a fight here. So be it. Oh, you should go up, mm -hmm. and I bet that there's a there's an there's a ledge above. Could be. If nothing else, having the high ground is not a bad thing. Cardinal Hansen, with three points of armor. Yeesh. Ah, he's a cardinal. Now these brothers have been pretty tough, so the cardinal might be even worse. So I'm up here now on the roof, and can you see down there? Not really. I guess I could try. It. I can't even drop down. So I feel like there might not have been a, any reason for us to come up here. Except if we wanted to start a firefight and just start shooting down into the building, which honestly wouldn't be a terrible idea. We could start that. We could start a big old firefight and see what happens. Poke the hornet's nest. Actually, before we do that, why don't I exit out of combat and open the menu and swap out Pharaoh. Nah. I'm gonna swap her out with somebody else. Somebody who can control enemies. Give me all the stuff. You don't need it anymore. Oh, he's short. He is very short in the menu, yes. He's probably not always like that, but he is today. There we go, the boomstick. Eh, yeah, probably go with the boomstick, just in case anybody comes upstairs. Let's activate the units, fire down into the... Yeah, we can definitely see this guy. He's got... What, we got a 40% chance to critical hit, which is... We're, we're gonna need that. <laughs> okay, it said we had a 100% chance to hit, but maybe it meant we had a 100% chance to miss, because we didn't hit. Ducks was able to do it though. That's cool. Let's see. I got the boomstick. Apparently my shotgun's got a decent amount of range. We'll see if that's true or not. Ah! Oh yes. Again. That's good. Now let's see if they can hit us. Get them, my children. I don't know if you can. We have the high ground. Oh, it's a tow missile. Oh! <laughs> oh! Great. They just destroyed our cover. Now we're exposed. Not good. Oh, uh, there's a tow missile down there. Oh, they're worship. Oh, they're worshiping it. Okay. Okay. So we have three enemies. The pyro is number four. The pyro is number five. Just five, really? Okay, we can make this work. Well, you I did kill a bunch of them. Hmm. Can't really see any of them, but grenades will take care of that. Let's see. What's the best? Oh, here we go. Can I hit both of these at the same time? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, nah, probably not. All right, we'll just go for the cardinal then. Since he has the chain damage attack. <laughs> Thinning him out! Oh, my brain! Everybody? Everybody good? It's their turn. Oh, oh Borman has been possessed! That's a new thing! So that guy down there that we were attacking, the Cardinal, has mind control powers. We'll focus him down so we get Borman back. Like a mother. <laughs> oh, good. Worman is attacking me. Ducks is on fire. Oh, good! Good! Yay! My robot's here! Oh, hit me pretty bad. Okay, Ducks has one point of health, and Worman is mind controlled. So, here's what I'm gonna do move you into cover, and we're just gonna use a med kit on you, and hope you don't die. Flesh wound, I think. I don't know. Ah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Wow, the whole upper floor is on fire. Yeah, you know, I wanted to take the high ground, but the high ground is on fire. Still, though, considering what's on the low ground. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh yes, that's that's not great. This isn't good. This is very bad. Bad things are happening now. I don't know if we can salvage this, honestly. Magnus, you got two points of health. Uh, you'll be fine, I'm sure. Yeah, you just dodged their fire. Good job, man. They can't hit you. You're gonna... You're definitely gonna survive, you, um, all right. 
You may want to kill that. Borman? Borman's still mind controlled. That's cool. No, you may want to kill that uh, cardinal. Whatever. I'm just going to go on Overwatch. I Sorry. will cleanse the evil that plagues your soul. He's going to cleanse me. Oh, good. Mm, I'm going to feel cleansed. He's got four yeah. points of health. Yeah, he is almost dead. I feel like we have to take out a few more enemies before we do this, though, because... Gotcha! Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice hit. But still, we have no health. Dux is down. Hooray! Everything's going so well. Mm -hmm. Okay. On today's episode, everything goes well. Oh, wait. What? Game, game over? over? Yeah, because Borman was mind controlled. Oh, so okay, two people are dying, one person is mind controlled, so it's a game over. Okay, well, I probably needed to restart. I bit my cheek, damn it! I probably needed to restart anyway because ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. there were a lot more enemies there than I thought. So we just have to pick them off. It's gonna be slow and it's gonna be tedious, but it's gonna be smart. Then again, we're gonna have to engage in combat with that giant mech. That's a new challenge I hadn't anticipated. Beep boop, beep boop, beep beep boop, beep beep boop boop. What do you think is the priority target here? I mean, Cardinal, beep boop. But what about the memer? What? Can you even take that out? Also, Dux is not with you. <laughs> I don't know which is the more pressing concern. The memer, which has a bunch of armor, or the I cardinal. I don't know if you can take the memer down without being detected. Oh, no, no I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, because we can take out this hunter here, no problem. Oh, well then take out the hunter. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, yeah, the, these are the easy ones to pick off, and I'm going to pick these all off, no big deal. But, if I attack the cardinal, or if I attack the memer, I'm not going to be able to take him down in one turn. So who do I need to focus down first? I would see if you can deactivate the memer. You know, I do have... I'll swap Pharaoh back out and see if we can disable it. I imagine it's way too strong, but we do have the disabling abilities that might work on it. Who knows? If you didn't want me to kill you, you shouldn't have been such a bore. <laughs> oh, got that right. Nice. Oh, I popped his head. That was nice. All right, this one over here. Sect tank. Ooh. Can you take him down in one hit? I don't, yeah, I've tried tackling him before. It doesn't work. You can't tackle the tank, but mind control, 50% chance to hit. We'll end turn. We'll see if it works. Yes, he is now in our thrall. So How long do you have control of him? I think for two turns, but I'm not sure because sometimes it feels like it doesn't last as long as it needs to. But either way, I am going to drop a grenade at my feet. Ooh, will anybody notice if I do that? No one else is nearby, right? I mean, the memer is. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to activate its can, sound. Here's another question. Yeah. Can you have everybody run away and have just the tank try to till, try to kill the memer? Yes, I have done things like that before. So if this if this plan doesn't work, if we can't take out the tank silently, we might just recruit the tank to help us fight the memer. Okay. Blow yourself up, tank. Oh, drop my grenade. Ow. Break it. Oh, no! <laughs> Not nope. Memer heard ya. Not silent. Got it. Alright. Oh, I would reload your save. Probably. I'm gonna try loading into this guy for a while. Can I still hit... Apparently, I can't shoot my tank. I can have him drop a grenade at his feet, but I can't shoot him. Alright, we'll try this again. Let's see if we can take ducks. Walk right on up to it. Notice dust! It noticed us! Yes. But it's fine. Attempt to disable mechanical unit. 75% chance. That had to hurt. I think it worked. It looks like it's got the EMP mark on it, so I think we'll be fine. And now we'll just unload into it with our silenced weapons. I am the beautiful weapon. How much damage? Three? Three each? Ooh, that's not good. It's got a lot of health. It's got a lot of armor. How long is it disabled for, though? Two turns, it said. We'll see. Still only three, huh? Okay. It says it's disabled for one more turn. I don't know. Well, if if it's disabled for one more turn, so have everybody unload into it except ducks, and then just have ducks disable it again. You can only use that once per combat. Oh, well then have... Uh... Now, Pharaoh has her circuit breaker. I'm going to use it on it right now. Right. There we go. It's got a little more disable on it again, so... Ducks and Borman can reload and unlo unload into it. That's what's up. And hopefully we'll be able to take it out next turn. Because if we don't, it might just get back up and murder us. Gotcha. But we're doing a decent chunk of damage to it, yeah? It's almost down. If it's still going to be disabled next turn, you're fine. That's a big if. 
but yeah, we are balanced on a knife edge right here. That had to hurt. Okay. I think you can take it down this turn. I think odds are in our favor. Reload. Shoot it. Give up now and I'll go easy on ya. If it explodes, is it gonna attract enemy attention? <laughs> we were close enough that we took damage. But it's okay because we're playing on the easiest difficulty, so all the damage is immediately healed. Hooray! 16 weapons parts. And I don't think anybody noticed you blow up their giant robot. Nope, that went completely unnoticed. Now it's time to go kill the sect tank. I was so I would save. It auto have everybody group up on you. Don't worry, it auto-saves after every successful stealth attack. So, we could go after the tank next. Wouldn't it be a bad idea? Can't tackle him. Or, you could see if you could tackle the Cardinal. I'm probably going to stir up some problems here and attack the Cardinal. The tank will rush over and then I'll mind control the tank. That's probably what's going to end up happening here. Are there any other enemies in the area that I need to be concerned about? Or is it... Oh, nope, yeah. Nope, just me, Johnny Tombstone. I'm a tombstone. It's the Pyro, of course. Have you ever heard about tombstones? I'm one of them. Ooh, that's a solid hit. Ten points of damage. Okay, and uh, ducks. Ooh, you're not close enough. Get closer, but not so close that when he dies, it explodes on you. Is that other guy close enough that he's going to hear this happen? I feel like I'm way too close right now. Probably. I feel like I should be nowhere near this close. Borman, beat him up. Yeah, Borman. Do that thing that Zack said. Do it. I command it. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. Awesome. Ah, spaghetti. Somebody touch the my spaghetti! Here comes the pyro. I'm on fire now. There's pyros, 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 uh, oh, oh, oh. pyros. There's a bunch of hunters we can take out stealthily. We'll do that first. And then we'll take out Chris Hansen, who is the cardinal in there. Why don't you have a seat? Just take a seat. Have a seat right over there. Take a seat. After I've killed all your men, sure. Trying to think of the best way to tackle this right here. They're not... Ooh. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. They're moving. He's yeah. going to be by himself. Once that pyro is by himself and no one else is going to hear him explode, then is the good time where we tackle him. Yep, I think... Like right now. Yep, time for us to spring the ambush. Get a little closer, guys. Get a little closer. Here we go. <laughs> Away! Away! And we're gonna unload into him, but at the same time, Borman is so close that... Borman is so close that he will explode and get caught in the blast. Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah, he's a tank. He can take it. That's what tanks do. They take it. Does that hurt? Sorry my attacks are so foul. Uh, <laughs> that joke was flying on a wing in a prayer. <laughs> I'm the hero. You're the zero. Come get some! Mike, you should know these jokes aren't very punny. I don't mean to hog all the puns to myself, though. Nah. Bullseye. <laughs> Ow. Sweet takedown. Hey, I'm on fire. Ah. Hey, dropped a Molotov cocktail. It didn't explode. Thank you. You thought you could take me on? You must be on quack. <laughs> that was <Yeah>. so awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you guys stop doing that while I'm within the radius? Thank you. So who next? Who next? Probably that, that hunter up there. Can we get up there? Hmm. Yes. Is there a ladder over here? Not over here. What's the best way up there without him noticing? I sure hope nobody charges into me and knocks me over. Oh, God. That exact thing that I was worried about happened to me. Oh, man. I wasn't hunting for this. Ah. Uh... Maybe you should have burrowed a hole somewhere safe. Ooh. Maybe. Pig! Oh, no, wrong one. Go beat up the mech now? You already beat up the mech, it's gone. Oh, that's right. The tank, you mean? I mean, you could, or you could go beat up on, uh, what's his name down oh, there? Oh, the cardinal down here? Yeah. Yeah, he's organic. We can tackle him to the ground, I think. I don't know for certain, but we can try it. Probably, you're right. This is probably the best target to go for. I mean, there are two people in there. But... Oh, yeah. That's true. We probably can't do this silently. We're gonna. Gonna cause an alert, but at the same time... Unless the hunter decides to, you know, kind of walk around. Nah, doesn't look like he's doing that. But, again, we will take our squad and remove everything from the fox's inventory. You can have crappy gun, whatever. Oh, and, an FNFAL. And we will swap her... Yeah, if it is, it's one of the ones I haven't upgraded. And swap her out with Magnus, who's got the mind control powers. Give him all the good stuff. And we'll use his mind control powers. And that'll be how we do it. 
I doubt he can take over the Cardinal. Yeah, you're probably right. We probably can't. But he can probably take over the Hunter, who is standing right next to the Cardinal. Yeah. And just start shooting at the Cardinal and see if the Cardinal kills the Hunter. <laughs> this is not a bad idea. I also see that we have a bunch of level ups I should probably deal with. Mutations. All right. What do you got, Borman? Spore Cloud. Smoke is emitted when you take damage. Or an extra 25% weapon range. Or permanently increase health by 1%. Or eating corpses restores health. Wow! That will give you extra weapon range. It seems good. Ducks. Extra weapon range. Doubles critical chance when shooting while it's hidden. Yes, please. I love critical hits. And Magnus. Again, Silent Assassin. Because I've been doing that a lot. All right, we're ready. Here we go. Let's spring the ambush and see what happens. No, 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 no. Take him over. Take him over. That's... Oh, wait. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're gonna oh, okay. Spring the ambush by taking him over. So this guy, 75% chance to mind control or... Yeah. Can't do that can't. one. Can't. Nope. But we can't go for the hunter and then tackle the cardinal and see what happens. Magnus was caught sneaking. Oh, was he? Did somebody see me do that? Okay, then. Was it this guy right here? This guy who's been knocked over? Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. And there you go. Now just have everybody lay into him. And we're going to do that right now. And I don't know how long this mind control is going to last, but I think it's going to last long enough. <laughs> Three points of armor makes it... Ooh, actually, yeah. That's a, lot of, that's a decent amount of armor. But we can still... Yeah, we can still do damage to him. Um, that wasn't silent. Yeah, whatever. Nobody else heard it. Didn't? I guess not. No. Okay. Um, if we're far away enough that no one can hear that... That's a bunch of missiles. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the shotgun then. Donut. <laughs> he is so wow. dead. And we'll just finish him off with the crossbow. Is that gonna do enough damage? Uh, well, I had to reload it and I didn't. Yeah. So we'll just shoot him with the gun. Uh, when the mind control wears off, do they just die? Oh uh, uh, no, he's back alive again. Okay. You may want to run into him. Can't do that. <laughs> Only can do that once per combat. So I guess uh, now we are noticed. Yep. Yeah, but you got rid of the most, the, the, the worst enemy. Exactly. So I think we can take the rest of this combat here. It's just, what, this one guy and a tank? I'm not too terribly worried I about I don't it. even think the tank knows you're here. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we can just take this guy out. Uh, we'll use the sound screen just in case. And there he goes. And is that the end of combat? You just knocked it off your headphones. But that was the Final Fantasy victory theme because that was a victory. Because Final Fantasy sucks! Look at this guy. Just smoldering. Ah, I'm on fire today. Time for you to open the chest. What's the loot? What do we get? What's the reward? Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Grenadier's Delight increases grenade damage by two. Not the worst thing I could have found. I've found worse pieces of equipment. I don't use grenades all that much, but if I have to... You should save, and then go into the basement. I'm going to do that right now, even though it auto-saves. Traveling down into this underground area under the church, the Spear of Heaven. Yeah. Ooh. We're getting closer, apparently. Are we going to be oh. under the church? Is this some kind of underground railroad type of thing? Oh. Wait, why is there a giant bird on my map? Oh. Ooh. Hello. It's a bunker. Yeah, another underground vault. It's a fallout shelter. It kind of feels like it is, yeah. Are there going to be any enemies down here? I would assume yes. Oh, there's a Chinook down here. Eh, you're right, there is. The Chinooks are bigger than that, though. Well, I'm That's not... a little small. Can I go in there? Mm, not... I see some scrap in there, so I must be able to get in there from the other side. Is it... Well, maybe the mutants are just big. You don't know. I mean, Chinooks are pretty big. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, look at all this food. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, eat huh. some food. Strange. Yeah, that's a lot of cabbage. Uh, ooh, there's so much good stuff down here. I'm gonna have to come back and loot this entire area in my free time because <laughs> automatic doors. Yep. Yeah. Broke electronics. Yes, I was an automatic door once. And a note. I was also a note once. It has become. I'm sure that's really important to the plot and everything. It's about Plutonia. I've dreamed of this star. Wait, I wasn't dreaming. I was remembering. I've been here before. This is trippy. I might need to sit down. Are these the people that turned you into a duck, or were you always a duck? I'm not sure. It's never been too... Maybe he was always a duck, but then they turned him into a human duck. Oh. Climber Enclave. Okay. I think that's the name of the ancients who built this place. 
An enclave is kind of like a posse, right? The Mimer pistol is what I've been using all this time, so yeah, we've been using their technology. Oh, I thought that was Mima. My Mimir? Ooh. Oh, they have an ICBM. Oh, hooray! That thing yeah. looks freaking dangerous. And kind of phallic. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, they do. Okay, we'll try not to detonate it while we're down here. Yeah, just don't shoot the top of- or any part yeah, of it. Yeah, just avoid- Don't shoot any part- well, I guess it depends on if it's a solid or liquid fuel. Can we just avoid shooting anywhere near it? I'd, I'd appreciate Some that. Some things down here don't react well to bullets. Ooh. Corpses? And some kind of swan? Hello, yes, I am a swan. Weird. Get hand grenade and- oh, Great. More dead people used to grow mushrooms. Just great. Yeah, apparently those cultists really love their mushrooms, and they grow really well on dead bodies, so they've been collecting dead bodies and growing It's a lot of beds. Must have had some kooky slumber parties down here. <laughs> yeah, or it could be communal barracks. Kooky! What's in this chest? Anything good? Come on. Decent armor? Is it? Oh, that is so good! Three points of armor, six points of health, four extra throwing range, and absorbs explosive... Yeah. That seems pretty good. Borman's getting this immediately, yeah. I guess I was I was gonna give the rest of the armor to ducks, but I guess I'm just getting out of the menu right now. All right, pretty good. Fine, good enough. I'll try it again. Leave it. <laughs> oh, this game. I've only so buggy. I've only found the one bug, but it's just so bad. All right, we can still make this work. The game hasn't crashed or anything. We're just gonna go around the ICBM. On a random note, how excited are you for okay, the outer world? Totally devoid of life. Should we be in here right now? Obsidian's new game. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. Because, uh, Fallout New Vegas might be one of my best, my favorite games of all time. Yeah. And uh, Obsidian was like, "Hey, let us make a Fallout game again." And Bethesda went, "No." And they went. Fine, we're gonna make our own Fallout game is in that, space. Is that with how blackjack we... and hookers? And you know what? Forget the hookers. Actually, and the all of those things will be in it. <laughs> our, I don't think that's how it actually went, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that game. Yeah, we find here. Oh, uh, that looks like. No, I can't see it. Uh, <laughs> if you go, what if you go up there as Borman and look at it? I don't think I can do that anymore. Yeah, <laughs> I should have done that. Oh well. He's just like cousin Larry. <laughs> That Novasek psycho said Hammond was around here. Keep your eyes open. I feel that weapon buzzing. Like it wants to go off. We need to find Hammond before we're here. I haven't found any enemies so far. I'm not complaining because it means I don't have to engage in any gunfights in this dangerous area. But at the same time, I kind of figured there would be. In this purging chamber. Who's Hammond anyway? Uh, he's another scaver that's apparently a really good scaver. He's a brain boy? Yeah. We kind of need him back wherever he went. That idealistic young punk went out somewhere. Some scrap over here. Oh, okay. Apparently I found the area we need to go. Oh, there he is. I see him. Well, if it ain't Hammond himself, finally. We have to find a way to save him. I can just walk up to him and free him. If he's okay. I don't know. Hammond's barely alive when we find him. But we find him. We find him as a team. With Hammond, the Ark's heart can start beating again. We think our mission is complete, but Hammond insists on telling us a secret. A secret that rips a hole through the middle of my life. He tells us he's been to Eden. Yes, the Eden. The mythical place beyond the zone where the secrets to life are kept. Ooh. He says Eden is a base for the ancients who are very much alive and creating the Mimer machines we've been seeing. He says the ancients do know the secrets to life, Ooh. but not human life. Uh -oh. Mutant life. Uh -oh. Me, Faro, Selma, Magnus. Our ears perk up. If ducks had ears, they'd perk up too. Yeah. Us mutants don't remember jack about our pasts. We're walking amnesiacs. We wonder why some of us look like animals, and others have powers we don't understand. Finding out who we are sounds like the quest of a lifetime, or a very big mistake. There's a problem. Hammond tells us the Nova Sec probed his mind,
stole the location of Eden from his thoughts. They're headed there now, determined to unleash the power of the Ancients and cleanse the zone, which means killing everyone inside the Ark. Our home. He says there's one chance to beat the Nova sect to the gates of Eden. Go through the Forbidden City, he says. It's a shortcut and the Nova sect are too scared to go through. That doesn't make me feel too good. Hammond begs us not to tell the Elder, because the Elder won't accept the truth. Our mission was a man. Now it's Eden. We have one final journey to save the Ark. But if us stalkers discover who we really are, will we want to come back? Alright, that is something else. Let Hooray! Quite the bombshell dropped off. And he's gone. Alright. Is he part of our team now? Probably not. He's not a new squad member. Nope. I regret opening the menu immediately. <laughs> we regret everything! We regret everything I've ever done! Uh, he's gone. I guess he's rescued? Did he get out yeah, of here? Yeah, he's just rescued. Okay. You should probably disable that nuclear missile while you're here. Is it even active? It might already be disabled. Mm hmm. If so, my it job is like, done. It looked like there was a platform going up to the side of it. Ooh, I should also loot this area too. Uh, whose throne is this? Look at the size of this thing. Overcompensating much? I mean, you got mind powers. Do you really need an intimidating chair? Maybe it's just very comfy. You can have both. And a note, Gego is sick of polishing the ancient weapon. It's, it's Gego is told to do. Polish the metal phallus themselves. Goodbye. Gego the polisher. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's his title. Uh, what's this? Come on, scrap. There's a box over there on the right. And another thing See? over here. See? See? You're so helpful. See? It's a box. What's in it? What's in it? Is it going to be good? Is it going to be good? It's got to be, be, be good. It's got to be a weapon. The Gger666. It can destroy cover. It does a buttload of damage, but it can only hold one ammo. But quite a lot of range. Hmm. So some kind of super-powered sniper rifle. I'm not gonna turn my nose up at that. Beep, 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 beep. I'm not gonna turn my snout and or beak up at that. There was on the other side of the missile. There was a platform. Also, I think there's a note on there, but you might have picked that up already. Oh, right here. Yeah, on like the little pedestal leading up to the yeah, missile. I see that. Holy book of fixing plus one. Oh, it's an artifact. How, How things, things work. work. Did you know you can wind your cassette up using a pen and other words of wisdom? <laughs> I never spoke of such a book. This was placed in such a way that indicates the Nova sect held it in high regard. Use a pencil to quickly rewind a tape. I have no clue as to what either of these items is. <laughs> oh, there's a Swiss, um, the Swiss like military logo is on the side of that missile. Is it on the front side? Yeah, it's the three crowns. It's blue with three crowns. That's like Swiss oh, military. Oh, yeah, that is. That, um, that's gotta be... Is that Sweet? Is that Switzerland? No, it's... Uh, it's, it's Sweden, right? Sweden. So did I say Swiss? I meant Swede, okay, Swedish. Okay, yeah. I only know that because of uh, that being one of the factions you can play in Civilization. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's Swedish, which... Is this game... Was this game developed by a Swedish company? I think it is. I mean, we found the police cars that were called police. Yeah, I think this I think this might take place in Sweden. Mm, looks like I can't get on top of this platform Which, or anything. I don't think Sweden has any nuclear missiles. At least none that are publicly knowledgeable. Yeah, you see? That's true. They've got secret missiles. I mean, if you were one of the powers, if you were one of the countries that didn't wasn't known for having nukes, would you want people to know? I wouldn't want to have nukes anyway. I don't think anyone does, but if somebody does, now be the country you trust, right? No. I don't trust any country that has nuclear weapons, and that includes the country we live in. That's fair enough. It's too much power for one country. Yeah, nobody should have nuclear weapons. Let alone eight. Anyway, uh, Hammond's rescued, and we're leaving. Unless that's not a bomb, and it's uh, it's like a satellite. Yeah, it's actually... Um... But this seems this seems like a nuclear. This is a museum. This is just a museum. Oh yeah, they have a Titan missile museum in uh, S here S Stockholm. Yeah. Yeah. So leaving the Spear of Heaven, and I guess that's the next destination down there, the Star. That's Eden. It looks like we're gonna have to go through a level fifty enemy area to get to it. So might, hooray! Might take me a while to grind on some of these other it'll, goons. It'll take a little bit. Yeah. I I have been. Running away from most of these battles, so I might have to go back and 
go back to all the levels and kill all the robots. So that's and stuff. a tow missile right there. Right it's there. also a, a bit bigger than tow missiles generally are. I haven't seen any up close, so I guess you'd know more than I would. Well, because it's got the fins that pop out, and it looks pretty much like a tow missile looks. Okay, so I guess that's it. We found Hammond, mission complete, but now we know the location of Eden, and we'll go there next, but... Hooray to Eden! Yeah, first I'll do a little flyby, uh, by the Ark, and level up everything. Wah, wah, Get wah. it? Because I'm a duck! Ah, ha, ha! Whack, whack! Until next time, my name is Mike, and that's been Zach, and this has been Mutant Year Zero. And I've been Zach. Road to Eden. Eden. I can't wait for Mutant Year... Uh, Mutant Year 1 or Mutant Year 2. Th those will be good sequels to this game eventually. Probably. Grass. Good way to end that. <laughs> <laughs>